awesome looking, babe. Hey y'all, it's your girl Nadia. It's me, Coach T. We are two average people yes, we right are. back with you. So I hope you guys liked our last podcast. Please check them out. This is an interesting one, babe. So is it normal to find other people attractive while in a committed relationship? Uh I think absolutely. Let's look at this uh, video real quick. I wanna kind of see. I don't know how I feel about this one, y'all. Is it normal to find other people attractive when being in a committed or long-term relationship? My name is Shadia and I'm a licensed therapist and I get this question a lot. Now there is a difference between acknowledging and acting. Starting with acknowledgement, it is both natural and normal as human beings to find other human beings attractive. It can be as simple as watching a movie and seeing someone like, I don't know, Chris Hemsworth or The Rock and thinking, man, they're super attractive. Or at dinner and someone walks by and maybe you even acknowledge it with your partner of like, oh, that person's pretty hot. And you just leave it at that. You don't think about it a second more. Even if you're by yourself and you see someone and you're like, oh, that person. Okay, so. so okay, so. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about. Yeah. Like, it's, it's pretty clear that person's objectively good looking. That's probably why they're starring in this movie. So, yeah, okay. Okay, but beyond like the the movies, right? Like you were out, right, or at dinner or whatever, and you see a good looking woman mm -hmm. or I see a good looking man, right? Obviously, we're going to think somebody else in this world is attractive. I'm not talking about celebrities necessarily, right? But when you see somebody on the street, you're like, huh. So I think though, where the issue lies is, can you say that out loud without offending, disrespecting, causing a, <laughs> a tiff with your partner? Like, like if I would have been like, oh, yeah, he's fine. Like, he's fine. Like some people are not okay with that. And so if we're sitting at dinner and a guy walks by and be like, yeah, Mm hmm he's fine he's really fine first of all did i need to say that yeah secondly yeah. is that disrespectful thirdly what am i setting myself up for that's these are the questions yeah, these are because questions. The, obviously there's somebody else in the world attractive to you look i'm the type of guy where if i find somebody or something attractive or beautiful i kind of just say it because right? You know, I'm an artist in in the most literal sense. And, you know, when I draw, I'm literally looking at the, the beautifulness of a thing and trying to recreate it. So, like, there's a part of me that just sees it. I can't help it. And if I'm out with my wife and I see a beautiful woman, I'm like, hey, I just, I, I just keep it real. Because she's my best friend on top of everything else. And I've always talked like that. We do. From the very beginning, we that's do. who I've always we been. Do. So, I just don't. I just don't edit. I just keep that part of myself for her. And it I just, does not bother me with it. I just keep that part of myself for her. So she knows it's, I mean, it's our little thing now. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know. It and, doesn't bother me. And at the end of the day, it, it's never disrespectful. We're never staying on a topic super long. But I remember one time when we were walking through Lowe's. You remember that time? <laughs> <laughs> I was walking through, oh my I was walking gosh, y'all. We were walking through Lowe's. And there was this woman. I'm not sure what was going on with her, but. I saw her first, I think. Yes. And I was like, wow, she has a really nice butt. And I was like, and where? And he looked over and he was like, damn. <laughs> I said, damn. I said, damn. And I bust out laughing because I didn't know what else to do. My damn was so natural to me. And it was. He was not expecting I was, it. it I, I couldn't help but laugh. But it was such a genuine. It was a laugh. It was I like was like, a, wow. And like, she, like he, I'm looking at this woman like, dang, she has a nice butt. I'm straight. Like, I have no interest in women whatsoever. Right. But if she bought it, salute to the surgeon because homeboy it got was, it. It was old. just perfect. It was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you know, we'll do that. And we, you know, some people might say it's disrespectful in their relationship because, you know, growing up, you hear things like, well, if a man truly loves you, he don't have eyes for nobody else. All right, whatever. Sure, he's he becomes blind to all. Of a sudden. Okay, is that realistic though? Hell no. 
let's see what let's keep going with this video babe let's see if she talks about it cute or handsome or pretty or whatever word you want to use and again you carry on with your day you don't think about it a second more totally normal because you don't have blinders on you're not a horse you still see the world and there's really beautiful people in this world and that's okay acknowledging someone else's appearance does not take away from your own appearance to your partner or your partner in general because i may notice someone's appearance but my partner i notice when their eyes light up when they talk about something they love and i notice their nose scrunch when they get angry and the way they bite their lip when they're stressed because there is meaning between this person and myself versus a little flittery look of like oh that person's attractive anyways it doesn't mean anything it just means that you're human that see down see and that's where we are yeah. like yes it when you we look at beautiful people out in the world and they're many like that's all it is you're a beautiful person yeah i don't know anything else about you facts you could be horrible you could be nuts have a horrible personality you could be Straight crazy you shoes. could be we don't know right but that is not going to change how handsome he is the meaningful relationship that we've built together Absolutely. right it's not going to change that that's why we're like hey she Wow, she has a great body. And Babe, it, she has a great <laughs> body. He's like, damn. <laughs> but that's all we because can laugh about it, too. That's why we can laugh we about know it. What because it is. the truth of the matter is, that's all it is. That's all it is. That, she ain't me. Not even kind of. And he ain't Not him. even kind of. <laughs> and it sounds cocky, but it is the truth. It's what I believe genuinely. So, I agree. Like, it. It doesn't change what what you have in your relationship is way deeper than what somebody looks like, what we look like. Let's so keep, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Now on the flip side, acting. Acting would say that I see someone attractive and I want to engage with them. I want to maybe spend time with them and I want to invest something in them, even if it's just one night with them. I don't know. But acting means pursuing. And I was thinking about this the other day. I was in a yoga class and this girl came in and she was feeling herself. She was confident. I am all for it. And she was wearing these tiny little cheeky bottoms. It was hot yoga. And throughout the class, these little bottoms just basically became a thong. And she was in front of me and I could not help but stare. I'm a straight woman. I have no interest. But it was right there. And I just was like, I can't, I can't help. I can't help but stare. And I was thinking about how many times, especially the men in the class, might be scolded for staring and thought of in this creepy manner when I myself was staring as well. Because it's natural, normal human behavior to sometimes look at these things and it doesn't mean anything besides the fact that it's right there. And I know a lot of you guys do it too because I've seen videos on here and right in the comments everyone was like, can anyone stop staring at blank and blank? It's about how secure we feel in our relationship and with ourselves. Attractiveness doesn't equal, always equal want right but i think what she's saying is really important is the actions right yes so if you look at somebody that's beautiful but then you're you're taking it to the next level of oh no i want to actually pers pursue, pursue an interaction right. with this person right. that's right. when you're really starting to co cross boundaries right, right. because right. right that is where i think the disrespect comes in and the the okay i'm really disrespecting my relationship but like she said, you're looking at this woman in the class with a thong. I mean, her butt is out. You're looking. I'm sorry. And to, for it's me, that's just to think that my husband is not going to look at the butt, the ass that's out, is crazy. Well, the, the, it's not crazy necessarily because I do think, fellas, I'm talking to you right now. We absolutely positively need to have and always practice good dick discipline. It is important. You need to mind what you do with Sir Winks a lot. Okay? You need to understand what it's doing and what type of power it has over you, my guy. It's important. But you say you can't always control what happens with Sir Winks a lot. You can't control what happens with him, but you absolutely can control what happens to him. You understand what I'm saying? Got you. Okay, because sometimes it, it, he yes. wants to see what's happening too, and he pops up for no damn reason. You just as surprised as everybody else in the room. So it happens. It, it, it is what it is. Yeah, one That's eye. just biology. It's looking at you. <laughs> it's, you understand what I'm saying? But 
having good discipline for what you do with it mm -hmm. matters just like the choice in, in your partner and who you choose to spend the rest of your life with is one of the most important decisions that you'll make. The next most important decisions that you'll make is where you put, you know, Captain Winky. Okay? So you have Tell to him, baby. you have to understand that it's a very important thing. Um, that's first and foremost. So would it be better not to set yourself up in let's say her example in a class where a woman is in her thong, whatever. Sometimes I feel like men are like, I'm just not going to look at that. Right. I'm going to stand on the other side of the class yes, because yes. I can't always control yes. what Captain Winky. Yes. That you like, I I had to go through a period in my life where I was just like, nope. I just got to move away at all costs. <laughs> like if I'm on this side of the subway and that's what's on the other side, I got to go to the other subway car. It just is what it is. Yeah. I just... I, I, and I'm not even gonna make it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look down. I'm just gonna stare at the ceiling just to gain the discipline to just look away. But you know how I hear that. I hear that as you have not me personally, but someone could yeah, hear sure, that sure. as, well, you, do you not have self control? But it's actually when you think about it, it's actually exactly the With, opposite. Yeah, it's exactly the opposite. That is the self-control. That is the self-control. It's just like weightlifting. You go to the gym and it's, to me, that's like, you can't squat 315. That's what that question sounds like to me. Nobody goes to the gym and immediately just squats 315. You got to work to that point. Yeah. That discipline comes in the practice and doing the thing you're supposed to be doing, as well as in not doing the things you should not be doing. And as many times as you can win at those, you build discipline. Discipline is something you build on. And that's exactly the point here, is that I needed to take some time and build on. It wasn't that I was in threatening to, to cheat on my wife or, or anything or when mm -hmm. we were dating. It wasn't the point. The point wasn't my wife. That's the point. The point was me. I needed good di discipline because every man does, period. Mm -hmm. You want your man to have discipline in that. Because if you don't, you're dealing with a man who's either potentially a predator or potentially somebody who is outside of the realm of self-control. And, and so one of the most dangerous men on the planet are men who do self. not have self-control. Period. Point blank. Period. So and you're saying discipline is a practice. It's a practice. It doesn't just come naturally. It doesn't just, it, not that it doesn't come naturally, but that... If you don't have it, it's clear you don't have it. So it should be also very clear what you should be doing to get it. People get mad at, at people like Jordan Peterson. And they call him misogynist for things that he says. I don't know about all that, but the first rule in his book, you know, his book called 12 Rules or something or something or other. But the first rule is, and it's for men, or well, it's really for people, but it's talking to guys. The first rule is make your bed every day. The point is to build the discipline to do something every day, even if it's something small, because you can build off of that. Empires and kingdoms have been built of steady, daily, consistent actions and thoughts. The point is that don't just happen. You don't just get that because you decide to have it today. Mm -hmm. You have to give yourself good discipline. You can do that by giving yourself good examples on how to be Discipline. Okay, but I, I guess it, it depends on how you look at it. Because, and you tell me if this is, this actually can be either or, or if it's like, no, that's not, it's this way. So, so one may say the discipline would be there, would be standing there behind the woman that has, and I'm just using that example because she did, that has the thong on and just standing there and saying, I got this, I got this, I got this, I'm not, I can. I can do my workout. I can do this. I'm not moving. Okay, I'm good. I did it. Class over. I'm done. Discipline. Right, right. The other person might say, no, I'm going to get us out of class. Right. Because that's my discipline. That's my self-control. Right. Is there one way? Or no, there's not one way. It's depend on where you are in your process. You could be a... a you could, uh, here's, what I, here's what I know. You could be the type of guy who's used to getting women left and right. And that's a good thing. So for you, ignoring the woman's butt in front of you might be real easy because you know you're going home to have to deny some chicks so that you can get some sleep. <laughs> they, I, mean, I mean, that is what it is. It is some what dudes it is. are going through that type of life. Right. And if us acting like that's not the case, it's just weird. Right. But there's some of us, most of us out here, men, who can't get a, a little bit of it, even if they tried. Couldn't 
couldn't do the first thing to make sure that they could actually get anything, right? But still need discipline from the thing that they want the most now because they don't get it regularly. Mm -hmm. Things that they would put other mm -hmm. things way down for mm -hmm. because that's how you build discipline. Yeah. It's important yeah. either way. So there's no one way to do it. Some guys could be in the stage in their lives when they could just be behind the chick and just be good. But guess what? That chick, that guy's still going to be chastised for even kind of looking like... Just being the guy behind a chick that's standing there like that is you being a creep. Now, that's the hard part. Because mm -hmm. how do you escape that now? If it's everywhere and you're just by standing there, you could be that guy. Yeah. You know. It's, and that's the thing. Like, I think we have really, like, put boxes around that. Yeah. Of like, no, we're gonna look at other people. Yeah. Like I mean and to act like that's something wrong with that is it's weird. Weird. It's weird. That is weird to me. <laughs> like I, I don't understand. Of course, again, there are boundaries, right? That you shouldn't cross. But to be like, no, my man can't look at anybody else or not. She can't like Are you kidding me? We are so what human happens when you go to the beach? Beings. Are you blindfold us? <laughs> We are human beings. We're going to look. Other look. people are going to be attractive, and that is what it, it like to deny that seems. It's, it's weird. It it's like what so kind of weird. conversation are we having? Right. So we just gotta skip reality, right? Just to, to make but you yes. feel better. But yes, yes. Nah, bro. The, <laughs> and these are some of the social conformities that we have planted, and anything outside of that is wrong. Yeah. Well. And that's. I don't know. The people who talk like that usually are single. And if they're not single, they're in really weird relationships with other weird rules that you got to follow just because. Or that's when the hiding comes. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because now you incentivize to lie. There's people in there that they would never, ever say another person's attractive just because they know it's going to set their person off. Lie. That's a lie. But to act like that doesn't exist is weird. Like, is weird. So, I don't know, y'all. I'm like, like, can we just just come to reality let's about just, some of these topics? Like, because to the truth yeah. of the matter is, it's real. It's when we can have these real conversations and come to some real conclusions that may fly in the face of what we understand as a traditional value. Because you realize those values aren't real values. Yeah, a lot of the time, values. they're just there to prop up an ego because an ego is so normally not able to take that. But it's 2023. Yeah. It's time for us to heal. It's and facts. heal means move past. And, and try to elevate um, our marriages. And one way we do that is be real about these types of things that happen in marriages. Because they happen whether you think they're there or not. Absolutely. It's, it's I don't believe in the devil, but the devil believes in you. That's what that is. You understand what I'm saying? So if you want a successful marriage, look at it right in his face. Yeah. Let's be real, y'all. And, and call it who it is. Let's be real, y'all. But we don't want you to look past this or the rest of the podcast we have, y'all. Keep checking us out. We have so much more content coming your way. We're excited. We're ready. And we obviously want to know what you guys think. So remember, we're better together. together.